This is the Business Leadership Series Minute with your host and best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck, Derek Champagne. So is there, what, a, what a last piece of advice would you give to anyone that's listening? A couple things. One is tell me about a, tell me about a new technology or about a, a technology that you're excited about that you've run across or that you've used in your social platforms. What's, what's been the best tool or the most exciting tool that you've used? I think here's a really quick one that anyone can implement in like five minutes is instead of sharing snip uh, bitly links on your social profiles like when you share links or using buffers link shortener you can use a service called snipply where if it's like the same service they give you a shortened link but they also place like a little ad to one of your pieces of content so whenever you're sharing someone else's content and someone clicks on it, you'll get this extra little ad like for your content on the side, which is just like free traffic, really. Like it doesn't cost any money. You just add that on. So we've been using that since we started, and like it drives X amount of extra clicks like every day to our site. So um, if if someone's not using that, like I start using that straight away. Uh, so that's with social. Into for something else, I like Optimizely, which is a tool. Which is <laughs> I don't know how they make this profitably, but you can go and create an account for free and they'll allow you to put this stuff on your site for free like and give you amazing analytics on those split tests so I split test, I probably put up like 10 different versions of the Virtual Valley homepage hmm. and now we have one which I believe is the best and it's completely for free obviously you can get a paid account for like better features but the free account again is amazing that's great I, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Any any last bit of entrepreneurial advice for those that are, are just launching their, their service or their product and it, what, what advice would you give them in their patience along the way or having the, the, the right vision and strategic direction? Yeah, so I think when like you get the fear and the anxiety, which will, you will get, like it's natural whenever you like step out and do something different and try and build something for yourself, two things that you, you need to get better at doing in order to stay in the game for the long run is A, as we mentioned earlier, like looking back at what you've achieved and being thankful and like being happy that you've managed to achieve so much that so often gets forgotten, forgotten. And the second thing is instead of focusing so much on the physical outcomes, try to focus on what you will learn by doing this and the person that you would become. To hear full episodes of the Business Leadership Series, visit blsnow.net.